Hey there, it's Tom Corson Olds from OnlineInternetMarketingHelp.com and here I am inside FB Influence and today I'm going to talk to you about Module 2 of FB Influence it's how to grow a lucrative fan base. Uh, this is probably what sets FB Influence apart from pretty much any other Facebook training program I've seen out there is that it has so much information, hours and hours of content showing you how to really build a huge fan base uh, which goes way beyond just, you know, Facebook ads or, you know, posting on other people's walls or things like that that so many people out there are saying you should do and, and those are definitely good strategies but it goes way beyond that to how do you really build a, a huge growing thriving fan base that becomes customers as well. So the first video here is about how to find a community manager for your Facebook page. Uh, it's like an hour long video with, with Amy Porterfield and it's, it's a really good video. Um, she talks about uh, outsourcing, basically how to outsource you know your Facebook uh, page curation. So if you are a busy entrepreneur or if you're part of a, a large thriving organization and you want someone else to be the person to manage your Facebook fan page, well, uh, how do you know who's going to be a good fit for that? So it talks, she talks about the core personality traits for someone that they need to really be a successful community manager of your Facebook page, uh, the different roles you can assign uh, to admins of your Facebook page. So there are people who can just post content, there are people who can interact with fans, uh, there are roles for being a general manager who can do anything with the fan page whatsoever. Um, there, are, there are roles for just people who just look at the analytics of the fan page. So this is set up more for larger organizations, but it can also be really useful to have these different roles um, if you have a partnership in your business or business partners, or if you want to hire an employee or an outsourcer uh, or an independent contractor to come and manage your community page. It also works really good if you hire like a Facebook consultant or someone like that because you can give them the ability to manage your community as well. Um, and then she talks about five questions you want to ask before you hire anyone to help you manage your page. I think this is really important because uh, if you make the mistake of hiring the wrong person who's either rude or not excited about Facebook or doesn't understand the community aspects of it and they start doing some funny stuff on your fan page, you can really destroy your edge rank really, really quickly or get some really angry fans at you. So it's really important you make sure you hire the right people. And then she talks about how to put together an internal guide to better manage your Facebook community, which is kind of like having rules and guidelines um, for yourself, for your company, of, as to how you do things on Facebook. It's really important too. Next video is about how to grow your fan page, uh, how to grow your fan base. So she talks about how to link your profile to your page. So this is a really key idea. So if you have, if you're the star of your page, like mine is Tom Corson Knowles, um, on my personal Facebook profile, I have, it says Tom Corson Knowles works at, and then has a link to my fan page. Amy Porterfield does that, Mari Smith does that, all these top Facebook experts do that, and she walks you through how to do that exactly step by step. And she talks about how to use a video to increase your page likes, that's really key to, as well, having landing pages or having videos on your Facebook page that get people to interact with you, that you're adding value to them. You can also use it to get opt-ins as well. How to add your page to all your emails. Uh, it's a great way to get people to come and get new fans, the people that you interact with on a regular basis. How to do giveaways and really create a lot of buzz and get a lot of fans doing giveaways. And then how to you know be social instead of just being annoying and spammy. Uh, the next video is about how to use Facebook marketing to get more leads. Um, this is about all about Facebook ads, uh, you know, and how to use your own content to get more leads. It's also some, she shares different case studies, all these different fan pages and what they use to get opt-ins from their fans. So different landing pages people use and things like that that are really, really helpful and really effective on Facebook. Next video is about how to get in the news feeds of your fans. Uh, this is really important because you know you could have, you could have 10,000 fans on your fan page but if no one is talking about your fan page and then no one's going to be seeing your status updates. So it's really important that you're getting likes, you're getting comments, you're getting shares, you're sharing content that's engaging with people because otherwise no one's going to see your posts and then your, your fan page is going to go through a, a really slow and a horrible death where no one's interacting uh, and you don't want to be on that downward spiral. You want to make sure your edge rank is really high. And so she talks about that there. The next video, the last video of module two is about social plugins and share buttons. Um, so this is how to add like buttons and things like that to your websites, to your blogs, uh, and even within Facebook itself and different apps and different landing pages. So um, it's how to keep everything that you do social and integrated with Facebook because it's not just anymore about one platform like just having a Facebook fan page. It's having your website and your blog and your YouTube and your Twitter all interconnected and working together so that no matter where someone is online, 
they can connect with you and share that message with other people and you can get that viral aspect going on through Facebook with the like buttons and the share buttons and things like that. So hope this is helpful. If you want to check out more about FB Influence, click the link in the video below and you can learn more about that. If you have any questions about FB Influence or Facebook marketing in general, uh, just post a comment in the video below and I'll answer as soon as I can. Remember to come check out my site, onlineinternetmarketinghealth.com. Alright, wishing you an incredible day. Take care. Talk to you soon.